Hello there folks, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. Uh, today's film is all about mental health. Uh, we are talking about World Mental Health Day today and I'm gonna share with you five tips of mine that I feel help me out with my mental health effectively. Um, hopefully you may agree with some of these and if you've got some of your own, do hit me up in the comments below. And also, while you're in the comments below, why not hit the subscribe button as well? That's always a very nice if you can do that. So yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and write your comments in the section below. So yes, these are my five tips, which I feel help me out in my mental health journey most days, really. Tip number one, this is obviously a kind of basic one, really, but often people forget about it and they just sort of leave the house, do what they have to do, go out and do their day and they completely neglect this until the end of the day and it actually does make a big difference apparently according to um, army circles, apparently the armed forces, it's, it's intrinsic within their disciplines. Making your bed, making your bed, it's a very simple philosophy um, and if you make your bed every day as soon as you get out of it, it kind of sets you up for the day, a tidy bedroom, a tidy uh, headspace for when you lay your head later on. Um, gives you something I think to look forward to and also something just to calm you sort of without thinking, if that makes sense. Apparently, apparently there is theory behind it. Second one that I do as well, which I've only started doing since the whole lockdown thing hit really, is getting out and exercising as soon as I can. Often before breakfast actually as well. So as soon as I start to feel like I'm awake basically, I don't sort of like roll out of bed, roll out into the road and start running. But um, yeah, as soon as I start to feel awake, Get up, put the uh, put the, tra the training gear on. So effectively, you sort of you know you get your heart rate going, you get your you know uh, some movement into yourself. Um, you can start the you can start the day energized. So if what you're doing is you're just kind of cutting out the procrastinating, which can happen at the start of the day. You know, going on the old bloody phone, social blip flipping media. Even if it's just 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, it doesn't have to be very long at all. Um, and then back and showered and you're ready to start the day. So yeah, and then also as well, tagging onto that part two, um, my second tip is breathing, breathing exercises. Um, incredibly um, refreshing and energizing and um, uplifting. Like it's a form of meditation, I suppose you could say, um, but it just helps you recalibrate, rebalance, re-energize. Um, and it's just one of those um, things that I only started doing again, like kind of since lockdown started. I've got this app called Fit, F-I-I-T, and it's, um, you, can, you can do stuff like, along the lines of breathing work on YouTube as well, but um, there's some really good instructors on that app and they guide you through the whole thing and you effectively just follow it. It's really easy, you just sort of, you know, just do it as they tell you to do it. And then next thing you know, you, you kind of, I mean, it does zen you out. You can sometimes feel like you know, drop off back to sleep again, but it does properly get you in the zone of like, of no stress. Uh, tip three is, I mean, for me, someone like me, I, I tend to like to get an, a kind of grasp of what my day is going to bring and, you know, what I can potentially expect for the day and also just fe feeling like I get my knowledge in. So reading around and like looking into kind of like what the, the you know the news is doing effectively is really important for me. That's mainly because of my industry, but um, I don't know if you may feel something more anxiety related around that because of what's going on. There's, there's a lot of negative headlines around at the moment, but I don't I know I feel like I, I I like to know what's going on and like like to see what's kind of ticking really and um, what's kind of developing. So I like to do that. That's just a, a personal thing. I a lot of people might have other other aspects. Or reading a book or, or getting into like, you know, reading, finishing reading, you know, whatever you're reading in terms of literature or, or magazines or whatever it is. Because I feel like that can kind of just, even if it's only 15, 20 minutes or something, that just sets, sets you again on point for focusing through the day. The fourth tip, which I feel I think we can all kind of use a bit of every now and again, is um, a bit of relaxation, which can take many forms. Um, but I would suggest gaming, gaming or sport or, or yeah, you know, running and what have you, and, and the exercise is part of that. But I think a different form of mental stimulation, like gaming, for me, I've yeah, I've played Pro Evolution Soccer a lot, which is the competitive FIFA. Um, I like to think I'm pretty good at it. I like to think a pretty good bit, but um, if you've got, in fact, if you've got some time, download it, challenge me to a game. I will play you. Um, I will play you, and I'll beat you. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I really love that game. It's just so addictive. The gameplay is really good. The fluidity is amazing. Um, yeah, and so I love doing that. Just for maybe you know, it can kind of go on a bit if I like, get beaten. There we are. So yeah, that's number four. Um, and then tip number five, um, 
again for sort of consuming content if you like I always make sure that it's positive content like stuff that's invigorating to what I'm all about as like a person I know that sounds a bit wishy-washy but you look at some of the um, some of the stuff that you can watch out there you know a lot of Netflix stuff is just garbage a lot of like you know filler stuff in that you know that's that's out there for, for us to, to watch is just doesn't really stimulate our brains or it just makes us kind of vegetate and doesn't really get the best of us so anything that you know is thought-provoking um, inspiring and um, you know promotes learning effectively as, as content I think I try and implement some of that into my day watching the type of content you want to embody and you want to envisage is really important so that can take many forms it could be your favorite creators could be your favorite um, channels could be a program you just absolutely love and you want to kind of live that lifestyle or live that spirit um, yeah for me I just in terms of TV I'm absolutely obsessed with SWAT at the moment which is like an American cop drama and I just yeah every time I watch it I feel like I want to be in it uh, and that makes me feel good so yeah those are the sort of like five little things which I think um, will help me out certainly but I'd love to know what your um, tips are for your mental health if you have anything which keeps you grounded or keeps you in the zone or keeps you on point please do let me know in the comments DM me whatever you fancy doing whatever you want to do I'm all in is because anything that helps promote our well-being our mental health our you know our positivity then i am all for it so yes thanks so much for watching this video do leave a like subscribe comment all the usual stuff i will see you again next time thank you very much for watching